Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And first of all, a very happy Diwali and a happy new year to all my amazing Indian viewers. May your ear be filled with happiness, good vibes, and lots of new tech to explore. Today we're checking out seven super cool, useful features that can really level up your phone experience. Make sure to watch till the end because I'll also share why these features also make your daily usage smoother and smarter. So before we jump in, don't forget to hit the like button. Let's aim for a 500 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Drop a comment below telling me your favorite features from today's list. All right, let's get started. So feature number one is where you can turn on the offline device lock for your Samsung Galaxy device. So this feature automatically locks your phone when it loses network connection. So this is perfect for added security. So if your device gets lost or stolen and someone tries to turn off mobile data or removes the SIM itself from your phone, your phone will basically lock itself. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So first go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll all the way down until you see security and privacy. Now from here, find lost device protection. Now find theft protection. From here, you wanna go ahead and find this option called offline device lock. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will lock the screen if your phone loses its network connections. So this keeps your data safe even if there is no network connection. Basically your phone becomes unhackable when offline. So it's a must have for privacy and safety for your phone. Feature number two is where you can add the delete button to your screenshot toolbar. So now when you take a screenshot, you'll see a delete option right on the toolbar. So no need to open up gallery or files to clean up unnecessary screenshot. So here is an example, if I go ahead and take a screenshot, you'll see this toolbar and you'll see this delete icon. So I can go ahead and press delete and this will delete that screenshot. If I'm taking another screenshot, let's say I've just taken this screenshot and then I've realized, oh no, I don't want this screenshot. I can go ahead and press delete and this will delete that screenshot from there. So let me show you how to add that delete button on your screenshot toolbar. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down, find nice shot turn this feature on and then find add delete button, turn that on. So this will add a delete button to the toolbar so that you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshot immediately. So without this button here, this is how it looks like. And with it turning on, this is how it looks like, the delete button. So this saves time storage. You can instantly remove useless screenshots with a single tap. It's clean, fast and efficient. Feature number three is where you can customize your phone from the home screen setting for home up. So with the home up, you can now customize your phone's look and feel directly from the home screen settings. Like you can set the layout, icon styles, folder grid, blur effects, and many more. So here is an example. If I go ahead and customize the home screen, you'll see this home up icon. Now for some of you, you might not see this home up icon on your home screen customization settings. So to enable this, you wanna first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, go ahead and scroll down, find the Home Up module. Next, tap on Home Screen. And here you wanna go ahead and find this setting called Use Setting Dialog on a Home Screen. Make sure this is turned on. So as you can see, when you go ahead and customize the Home Screen, you'll see that Home Up setting just here at the bottom right. So now if you go ahead and turn the feature on, customize your Home Screen, tap on Home Up, and here you can go ahead and customize all of these settings like loop pages, finder access, hide page indicator, home screen grid, the hot seat, and the app icons. So you have total personalization so you can make your phone's interface truly yours, more stylish, minimal, or colorful depending on your vibe. Feature number four is where you can change your recent app view. So are you tired of the old horizontal app switcher like this? You can now change the layout of your recent app views so you can get different views like list view, grid style, or the stack style. So let me show you how you can change this. So in order to get that, you wanna first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down, find Home Up. Make sure that is turned on. Then tap on Home Screen. And here you need to make sure Use Settings dialog on the Home Screen has been turned on for you. Turn it on, then press Home. Now go ahead and open up your recent app view, tap on the three dots, and then tap on Home Up. Now here, this is the layout style, so you can go ahead and change your layout style. So currently it's set to tilt stack, change it to grid view, so as you can see this is grid view. Let's change it to vertical list, 
So as you can see, this is a vertical list. Next, you can go ahead and choose a slim list as well. Now go ahead and choose what's your favorite style. And then go ahead and press home to select that. So this makes multitasking smoother and visually cleaner so you can find your recent app faster and manage them your way. Feature number five is where you can add tags to screenshots. So this one's a clever one. You can now add tags or keywords to screenshots as you take them. So later you can just go ahead and search by that tag to instantly find what you need. So here is an example, if I go ahead and take a screenshot, this will give me a toolbar. Now in the toolbar, I can go ahead and apply some tags. So these are the tags which can be applied. So here, the phone will basically suggest some screenshots. So as you can see, it suggested Chrome, screenshots, product, tech radar, iPhone 17 Pro, camera. So these are all taken from the screenshot itself. However, you can go ahead and create your own tags. So since this is about an iPhone, I'll go ahead and create a iPhone tag. I can go ahead and add any of these other tags which are suggested to me. And now once that's done, I can go ahead and press save. And now that tag has been added to that screenshot. So when I go ahead and look at the screenshot and the tags, you'll see all the tags which have been applied. Now, the purpose of this is to find your screenshot quicker. So say, for example, if you wanted to find a screenshot regarding iPhone, you can go ahead and open a gallery. You can go ahead and tap on search, go ahead and type in iPhone. So once you type in iPhone as a tag, you'll see that that screenshot appears as a first one. So no more scrolling endlessly through your gallery. You can organize your screenshots by topic like bills, memes, recipes, and retrieve them in seconds. Feature number six is where you can increase your screenshot resolution. So now you can capture high resolution screenshots. This is perfect for detailed content, documents, or sharing crisp images online. So here's an example. I've taken a screenshot of the iPhone 17 Pro Max. However, I just want this small picture, which I want to keep in my gallery. Now I can go ahead and crop it from here, from your gallery. Now, as you see, once I'm copying this, I'm basically decreasing the resolution of that image. So what Samsung has smartly done is it's given you the ability to increase the resolution. So if I now go ahead and press save, this will now ask me, do you want to increase the image resolution? So if I want to go ahead and keep it as it is, I can go and select keep current resolution. However, I want to go ahead and increase the resolution to make this image more sharp and more cleaner. So I'll tap on increase resolution. So now the screenshot which you've taken and you've cropped, it basically has increased the resolution. So you get better clarity, it's quality for screenshots. So whether it's a map, web page, design, or a photo, every detail stays sharp on your screenshots. Feature number seven is where you can turn on the raining notification animation. So this is a fun and aesthetic feature. So your notification appears with a beautiful raining animation on the lock screen or your status bar. So let me show you how to create this. So for this, we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, scroll down and you wanna find the Edge Lighting Plus. Now here, turn the feature on and then tap on Set Custom Style, so tap on this. And here you can go ahead and choose all these different styles. So you have flowers, hearts, ghosts, stars, hearts again, and popcorn. So you can go ahead and choose anything you like. So I'll go ahead and choose these art. You can go ahead and tap on the plus sign as well and choose your own image from your gallery. Let's go ahead and choose this heart here. Now next, you can go ahead and choose on a color and you can change the color of that heart. If you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and tap on advance. Now here you can go ahead and choose all the different effects. So this is like a snowflake effect. Next, you have the rain effect. You have the cloud effect, the stars, bubbles, another bubbles, hearts appearing from the bottom of the screen, the popcorn effect, zoom in effect, and no effect. So I wanna go ahead and make this into a raining effect. So as you can see, it rains. You can choose your size. You can choose your period. You can go and choose the amount and you can go ahead and choose a rotation. So now once you're done, press done. And now the animation has been set. So down below here, you can go ahead and choose to make that animation appear by keyword. So if it recognizes any keyword in the content or in the name, it basically show you that keyword. So you can basically make this personalized for someone, maybe for your wife or for your kids. You can show app icons instead of custom style. So if you want to see WhatsApp icons or messages icons. So if any messages come from the WhatsApp, they basically show you the WhatsApp icons. 
So you can go ahead and set that. You can also have these turned off while the screen is on. If the screen is off, you'll see that animation. And then here you can go ahead and double tap to open the app on the notification. You can prevent swipe downs and you can show bright on when off screen. So now once that's done, press home. And now you can go ahead and test it out. Have someone message you. And as you can see, you have those raining notifications. So it adds a touch of style and delight every time you get a new alert. So it's not just functional, it's visually satisfying and feels premium. And that's it friends, seven amazing features that make your phone smarter, safer, and more fun to use. Which one did you like the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. I read every single one of them. And don't forget our goal, 500 likes on this video. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more awesome tech updates, and share this video with your friends so they can try these features too. Once again, wishing you all a very happy Diwali and a prosperous new year. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep exploring.